John, I've seen a lot of people asking me about, I always have like the wormhole or they're seeing that I can extract things and then they disappear and they're like, well, how, how do I get that? And honestly, I keep telling them that you have to, first of all, you have to beat the game um, to mission 31. That is the first thing that you need to do. So what you have to do is basically you want to complete all the missions to 31. No matter if you get B's, A's, it doesn't matter what grade you get, you have to beat the first 31 missions. Then the second thing you need to do is you need to have some of your side ops already completed. And by doing this, um, only so many side ops will appear at a time. Okay, so as you can see, I've done 58 of 157, and I still need a few more to go. Um, but there is what you're looking for. Capture the legendary Jackal. That's exactly the side op that you want. Now, his exact location is not hard. You see guard post number 22 just south of Nova Braga Airport. If you zoom in, it's kind of hard to see because of the blue, but there is a rock right here. It's like a little plateau on the top of it. Put a marker right there, okay? And that is where the legendary jackal is going to be. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to show you. So we're going to land right here. And basically, we're just going to run straight ahead. And you don't really have to bring anything if you don't want to. I'm going to. You don't really need anything in this. Um, I'm just going to bring D-Dog. He's going to help me um, exactly pinpoint them. Why is the wormhole Fulton extraction device so important well this allows you to beat missions completely such as metallic archaea where you have to Fulton extract the skulls or code talker where one of the mission tasks is to extract the skulls it will also allow you to finally beat the war economy mission 21 because the three precious metal containers are underneath the roof of a hangar so with this wormhole fault and extraction device basically you can fault and extract anything in the game um, to me when i get the wormhole fault and extraction device and the stealth camo level six which you get after you receive the uh, notes from Emmerich when you build that to me then the game is over uh, because now I can fault and extract anything I want and now I can start farming um, because the stealth camo level 6 uh, lasts a lot longer than the parasite camouflage I'm going to do this during the day, so it just makes it a lot easier for you guys to see. Be careful down there, boss. So we've landed. And they, of course, were backwards. 
So now what we're going to do is, is we're going to look for that rock, which is right here. And we're going to go ahead and mark that area. There they are. Right where I marked them. So now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just find it to be a lot easier. I'm just going to go ahead and put the whole rock to sleep. And basically, that's it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I, I'll fault like I'm going to fault and extract all of them, not just the legendary jackal. Because you get you get good heroism for it. And it's quick and painless. Now, instead of calling in your helicopter, which is what a lot of people do, there's a container right there. Um, and then there's another one, I believe, on the top of the hill, a precious metal one that's uh, got 50 precious metal in it. So what you can do is, instead of wasting the 10,000 on your helicopter, is just go ahead and fault and extract those two containers and go ahead and, and get out of the mission area. And then um, the one thing you'll need to know when you're when you start building the wormhole fault and extraction device, it is going to take you about two and a half hours to build it. So just keep that in mind. Oh, my dog got in the way. Well, luckily for me, he's at 100%, so it doesn't really bother him too much. I'm going to go ahead and take this whole guard post. That way I get a little bit more heroism for it. I can't shoot today. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and take this. Then we're going to run up here, and we're just going to ride this one out of the LZ. And now, we're going to go ahead and see if we can't build it, if our level's up high enough. And there it is. So now, we're going to go ahead and build it. Two hours and 24 minutes. As you can see, you're going to be need to be level 40. I might as well just start building all this stuff too while I'm at it. So in two and a half hours, I will be able to fault and extract anything that I wasn't able to do before and complete some of my mission tasks such as Metallic Archea and Code Talker by extracting these skulls. And that's all I can build right now.
Well, I hope this helps you out, and I hope that now you can stop asking, well, how did you get the wormhole fault and extraction device? There you go. Just remember, don't get too far behind on your side ops. I mean, I understand they get a little monotonous and they can get boring, but the best way to do your side ops and quicker is make sure that you're collecting those invoices, the de delivery invoices. That way you can go from one area to the next, even in side ops. You can do, you can mark with four FOBs, you can mark up to five side ops and do all the ones in the towns. And then just, as long as you don't set off the alarm or make anybody suspicious, you can go ahead and transport, let the enemy transport you all over the maps, Africa or Afghanistan, and it doesn't cost you any GMP, and it doesn't cost you any materials, it doesn't cost you anything. Remember, you've already been deployed, so you've already got all that stuff taken out. So let the enemy deliver you. Now, with the wormhole fault and extraction device, it makes your life so much easier. You can get those prisoners that are under tents, that are inside buildings, such as, you know, doing the, doing the prisoners especially, or um, doing anything. Um, back up, back down becomes much easier. You can finish, like I said, the war economy. Now you can get the three precious metal containers. You can finish metallic archaea, because now you can fault and extract the skulls which is also good because you're going to need them to go with the parasite suit with the wormhole fault and extraction device you will be able to beat the game in its com in an absolute completion nothing can be not done with that the only thing you cannot fault and extract with the wormhole or any device is in hellbound when you go to the big supply outpost all of those vehicles are locked into the ground. Those are the only vehicles or containers that you cannot fault and extract in this whole game. Everything else is fair game. So remember, side op number 50, capture the legendary jackal is how you get the wormhole fault and extraction device. You must beat prologue to mission 31 you must beat all of those missions, not mission tasks, just the missions, no matter what grade. And then go to your side ops and just, I show you ex his exact location. Get it, two hours and 24 minutes. What I normally do for that two hours and 24 minutes is I will go into free roam to Lufra Way where you got Code Talker and I will get in the back of that truck and I will just let my materials process for a couple of hours until the wormhole fault and extraction device is done. Then I'll exit the truck, get on my helicopter, return to the ACC. Now I got process materials, more process materials, and now I can take the wormhole fault and extraction device, I can equip it and go back and play Metallic Archea, which needs Extract the Skulls, which I could not do. So I can go off and I can do Code Talker, Extract the Skulls. I can go to Mission 21, the War Economy, and I can get the containers inside the hangar. Of course, I'm giving myself away a little bit. You guys see the A on my war economy. No, I am not embarrassed. You can make fun of me all you want to, but those conversations took up a lot of time. So now I know the only thing I need to do now is shoot the guy inside the airport and then go get the containers and then exit out of the hot zone and I'll get the S rank based solely on time. So now because I have the wormhole building I will be able to complete the game in its entirety. This is Big John, just trying to keep it real, trying to help out all those people who have been commenting on my videos and um, sending me personal message from PSN. 
I really appreciate it. And I know that I'm not a very big fish on YouTube and in the in the YouTube world, but um, I just want to send a shout out to everyone who watched my Hellbound farm. Um, that is my first video that has reached a thousand views. Um, I am very proud of that video, even though it's a little sloppily done. Um, and I'm just um, really proud to have the subscribers that I have, even though it's uh, it's minimum. But I am I'm, I'm proud to have you guys, and I'm glad that you guys are sticking with me. I just try to keep it real. I try to bring the truth, and this is just the way I see things. This is Big John, and as usual, I'm out.